Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys, and I have another tier list, this one is kind of different, I'm not talking about specific jets or tanks or whatever, I'm going to basically divide countries that we have, nations that we have in the game, uh, on the top tier aircraft, basically, uh, you know, situation of the country and if it needs something or not so we will divide all the 10 countries in the game as you see over here in in a dire need a country that really needs something that it's really lacking a top tier jet um, have gaps a country that has some gaps in the top tier that could be filled uh, but it's nothing crazy for example in a specific role or something like that um, could use something but it's nothing crazy so this would be an idea of something that it's just a version of an aircraft or something that would help a little bit of the country or just because it's cool enough to be in the game or something like that and then well served uh, countries that have basically everything that they need for now and that for now as i said they don't need anything to be added right so let's start with germany Germany is interesting, guys. Uh, I don't think it's in a dire need, okay? Uh, but I think it, it does have gaps, you know? Um, I mean, it's like, it's nothing too crazy, but it does have gaps, okay? Uh, they just got the MiG-29, which is um, one of the best aircraft in the game. But in other roles and in different types of situations in top tier, it lacks a little bit. So, for example, in the West German part, we still don't have the F4F ice which is a gap, you know, even though we don't have the Mon 20, we already have the JKI, we already have the Kurnas 2000, we have these F4, so why not add the ICE version with just the A9Ls, or even better missiles than that, like the LI, right? Um, so it does have gaps, and in the air-to-ground role, it's kind of needed. Um, there isn't much to be added, I gotta be honest, um, until we receive something like maybe the auto fighter or something like that but even with that it is a country that have a, a, a big gap in the air to ground role that i would like to see filled um in the future because the su-22 it is an amazing aircraft it is very high tier but it doesn't have any type of advanced like uh, sighting system or anything like that that really does help in cer certain countries right so yeah then we have china China, I think it's like it could use something, but it's nothing crazy. Um, the MLU is an amazing aircraft. Um, the J8F is an amazing aircraft, and the JH7 is an amazing aircraft. Or all uh, all the all of them in their respective roles, of course. Uh, the JH is one of the best ground attack aircrafts of top tier. The JH. Even though it's just a J8, it is still very good, it has the PL8s, and in the future it will receive the PL12. And the MLU, although I still think that it needs its pod, you know, um, of guidance system that they did use, and of course missiles like maybe the A9M or something like that, um, even with that I still think that it is pretty well served. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't need little things, like I said, missiles here or there, or the J-10 in the future with just the PL-11s if the Fox 3s are not coming yet. Something like that could be um, on par with the MiG-29G, SMT, and the F-16C and D, right? So uh, it's little things, little variants or here and there, or aircraft that could help the nation to be a little bit better. Uh, but it doesn't mean that it's bad, you know? It, it's served quite well, I think. Uh, the Italians, um, I would say that it's pretty much the same as the Chinese. Uh, they have a tornado, they have an F-16 ADF, and they have the Harrier II. So they're all very, very good aircraft. There's not a lot of things that can be added afterwards. Uh, only if they add the Hungarian Tech 3, uh, Sub-3 Air, you know, for, it, for them. Uh, of course, in the future, the Eurofighter and some others can be added. But right now, it would be some missiles, like the A9M maybe for the uh, ADF. In the future, the AIM-120 for the AV-8B+, and also for the ADF. So, it is very cool to see that, or even the Tornado, I think. 
um, but it's nothing too big. And of course, as I said, the sub tree, Hungarian tech tree, would receive, uh, make them receive some uh, mix as well, which would be nice. But it's nothing crazy. They don't have a big gap to be filled. They're very good at the air to ground roll, in the air to air to roll. So, very, very good aircraft. Uh, especially the F 16, it's an amazing aircraft that is a um, nation. Then we have Japan. Japan is problematic, you know. They're not like in a dire need. Okay, they do have big gaps. They're almost in a dire need, but I don't think they are indeed in a dire need yet. But they're close to that. Why? Because you have the F-16AJ, but it is one of the best F-16s in the game. Some people call it the best. It has its problems, but it is a very good at fourth generation aircraft that can deal with a lot of stuff. Maybe they could use some better missiles, AIM-9M, maybe AAM-3, something along those lines. Yes, but they're still very much competitive, especially in a dogfight. It's basically a block 10 that can do BVR. So it is amazing in a dogfight and it can still do BVR. So very good aircraft. But especially in the air to ground roll, it lacks a lot, you know, uh, in, top, in the top ranks. Even though the F-16, yes, can use Mavericks and stuff. Uh, the EJ Kai can do some air to ground. It's still lacking, right? And there isn't too many aircraft that can be added over here. A sub tree would help a lot. But, I don't know, something along those lines, right? It's a nation that really needs in the future the F-15, the F-2 to be complete. And right now it does have gaps, but there's nothing, unless they add to other nations as well, some aircraft like the F-15, for example, uh, they're not, like, they don't have much to be added. I think the missiles would solve a little bit, but yeah, you know. And then we have Sweden. Of course, Sweden is probably the nation that most needs a new aircraft. Um, the Vigan, although it is pretty good, and I love flying that thing, it is a lower BR, it doesn't have the, the performance or, or the radar or even the missiles to actually be on par with MiG-29s and F-16s. So it is a country that really, really is lacking behind, I think. Uh, there's no reason to grind the, the, the Vigan 3 right now. Uh, unless you want to wait for the Gripen, because it's not that he suffers, but he doesn't have a top tier counter to the F-16 and MiG-29, right? So it's in a dire need, and I feel like we are going to receive this uh, needed aircraft very soon in the Gripen. Um, this Soviet Union, of course, it is very well served. Of course, there is always aircraft, both in the USSR and in the USA that can be added. Of course, there is the Sukhois, the Su-27, the Su-33, the naval version of the MiG-29. There's so many aircraft, the Su-24. There's always aircraft that can be added. But in the sense of roles and meta, it is very well served. It is one of the best, if not the best, BVR aircraft in the game. They have it, they have three of them, actually. Um, they have a very good dogfight air aircraft, even though it is a little bit nerfed on the sense of AOA that you can pull. The MiGs are kind of weird, the flight model right now. Still, it is very good if you know what you're doing. And it has the R-73, so it's amazing. Although together with that, in the air-to-ground role, it has one of the best cast aircraft in the game, being the Su-25. It has one of the best like fast attack aircraft, like uh, frontliner kind of cast, frontliner, frontliner bomber kind of situation, which is the MiG-27. So it's just a, an amazing, it really is an amazing nation to research. And of course, I have to put the US together with it. Uh, the US has basically everything as well. Very good interceptors, very good fighters. Uh, arguably the best fighter in the game being the F-16C, right? One of the best missiles in the game with the M9M. Uh, it will receive M20s in the future. Still has the F-14s, which are amazing. Yes, there are stuff to be added, F-15s and others, but um, it's still one of the most complete nations in the game. And of course, the USSR and USA will always be the most complete nations in the game because they always have options to be added. And that's why this happens. Uh, France, it's complicated. I still think that it could use some stuff, but to be honest, there isn't much else to be added for now. So it could use uh, maybe more missiles here and there, Maybe, you know, more weapon systems, a little bit, maybe a little bit of a different version of the Mirage or something like that. But to be honest, they're quite well served in general. Uh, I just don't put it on the well served because they are using aircraft that have less missiles, 
uh, than the meta normally requires to be the nation that is comfortable. It doesn't mean that the Mirage is bad. It is an amazing aircraft, one of the best in the game. Uh, but, you know, it's it's one of those nations that always can receive something here and there that could be useful, right? Like the Super Tendar in one of the latest patches that they received. It's nothing like crazy needed, but it was very, very cool that they received that. So there's always little things that can be added. It's less important than the, these two nations, I would say, but it's still there. It's a very, very good nation to research. Then we have the, the Israelis. I think the Israelis as well, I think they are very, very good right now. Um, of course, they can always receive something, uh, but I don't think they have big gaps. They are very good in the air-to-ground role and in the air-to-air, less than the USSR and the USA, but they're still quite up there. You know, they have one of the best F-16s in the game, best missiles in the game, uh, one of the best missiles in the game, or two of the best missiles, the, the Python and the M9M. So, very, very good, but there's always things to be added. Of course, the Barak 1, for example, as a single-seat F-16, could be always added, uh, or even later, like the Sufa, or other aircraft that can be added together with M120s and Derbies and other stuff that can be added in the future, apart from even the F-15. So, there's always things to be added, and they are a little bit less complete than the USSR and the USA, but they're, they have their, their gaps, they can be filled, little gaps, right? And then we have the UK, which I think is in a dire need for a new aircraft as well. Um, it's not as much as Sweden, because they have the Harrier, which is an amazing aircraft. It has M9Ms. Uh, you have the Tornado, which is an amazing aircraft at its BR, even though it's not top tier. So it's there, and it is very complete in the air to ground role as well with the Tornadoes, uh, with the Jaguars and other aircraft. Uh, so it's a very complete nation, but in the top part of a top tier like fighter jet that will be the air to air like main aircraft for the uk it is lacking there's nothing there basically so nothing that competes with the f-16 as well uh, or the mig-29 right so um i don't know what they're going to add if it's in a tornado with fox 3s or a harrier fa2 with fox 3s or it will be the auto fighter directly with fox 3s uh, we don't know yet but it is in a dire need, just like Sweden is with uh, better air-to-air -air equipment, basically, right? Uh, the Sweden, I actually, even lacking a little bit of air-to-ground, even though the AJS is very good, uh, it just has four Mavericks that it's quite expensive to respond because they're TV-guided, so it, it's problematic, right? So there, these two nations, I think, should be f the focus for uh, Gaijin to actually add new top-tier uh, aircraft in War Thunder. The rest, gaps will always have, always exist, and of course, remember, nothing needs to be added, you know, uh, and they don't add only things that are needed, you know, so for example, in the last patch, we, uh, in the last two patches, for example, uh, or it was in the last, uh, one of the last patches, we did receive the SMT, was it needed? No, not really, it wasn't really needed, F-16C, but it wasn't really needed for these two nations, um, but they added them anyway, right? So it's a matter of choices that they do when they push the game. But if I would choose the most dire nations that need aircraft first, it would be these two, then these two, then the rest, right? So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one.